in the world of military aviation, the ongoing debate between the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II presents a fascinating and interesting narrative at first glance. It appears these are made to compete for some aviation enthusiasts, that two such exceptional fighter jets are pitted against each other. However, despite both being fifth generation aircraft manufactured for the US Air Force, their distinct roles define their capabilities. The F-22, a pure air superiority fighter, was designed to hold the skies, while the F-35 embodies a multi-role mindset perfect for the complexities of modern combat. Originally, the design philosophy envisioned these jets operating in tandem, each supporting the other on the battlefield. The F-22 provides the needed cover as the F-35 executes bombing runs, showcasing a synergy of specialized roles. Yet history reveals that this collaboration has been overshadowed by the government's insistence on determining which jet reigns supreme. A pivotal moment occurred in 2009, tasked by the Obama administration when defense officials were directed to assess the comparative merits of these two warplanes. This inquiry revealed more than technological specifications. It illuminated critical budgetary constraints generated by the pressing economic landscape of the Great Recession. The resulting analysis was burdened with complications. Both aircraft possess unique technological advances, intricate systems, and considerable maintenance demands that contribute to their soaring costs. Ultimately, the Pentagon concluded that the F-35 offered greater potential for operational efficiency and better value for taxpayer dollars than the F-22. Consequently, this assessment led to drastic decisions, including the premature halt to the F-22's production, a move seen by many analysts as a significant miscalculation. With rising geopolitical tensions and powers challenging American air dominance, the absence of a dedicated air superiority. Fighter like the F-22 raises questions about future combat effectiveness. Americans must now contend with an aerial fleet that leans heavily on the multifaceted F-35, which has not yet reached the intended operational quantity. As debates continue to swirl around these impressive aircraft, it is evident that the US military's strategic landscape has shifted. The need for distinct mission-focused fighters is more crucial than ever, particularly as adversaries evolve under changing global dynamics. The F-22 and F-35 are not just machines of war. Their legacy is intertwined with the choices made by decision makers who shape the future of American air power. Ultimately, this showdown encapsulates more than a comparison of two fighter jets. It symbolizes the ongoing struggle to define military capability in an uncertain world.